So Shell Israel and I wrote this book called Age of Context, and one of the chapters in there was about digital assistants. You probably know of Google Now, for instance, that uh, tries to guess what you're uh, going to do next and tries to help you live your life. Well, uh, we're going to get a look at Sherpa right now, which is way better, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you right now. Who are you? I'm Xavi Uribe Chavarria, the founder and CEO of uh, Sherpa. I, I was born in Bilbao and studied electronic engineering, industrial engineering, and then I decided to, to, to start a PhD uh, in natural language processing. I didn't finish, I came to the US, I met uh, some people here, and I finished my studies, and then I decided to come back and, and build my first company that was called Amboto, but as my dream was always to build something for a consumer, I, I started Serpa two years, two years ago, and, and that's the, uh, the result of the, all, all the research that I have done in my life. Very cool. So uh, Sherpa is a, a, a digital assistant, I guess. Is that how you would say it? Uh, what is Sherpa? Let me yeah, I, I would say, I don't know how, how to call it, because it's something between a digital assistant plus uh, search plus predictive. Um, so I would say that is the, the informator, the, 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 the system that informs us during our lives. Sometimes I need to ask, sometimes it will, it will tell me what, what I, I will need in soon. Yeah. So that's the, that's it's, the key. It's really amazing where a voice, and we're going to use it on camera in a second, but when you talk to Sherpa, it, it really is accurate on understanding what you're trying to say to it, which is, uh, man, it's a magical world. I remember the early days of uh, voice recognition or uh, uh, systems, and they just wouldn't work that well because they didn't have enough context to figure out what you're trying to say, right? Yeah, that's right. But uh, so we try to, to improve any speech recognition that we use, and we use we have our own natural language processing engine based on five analysis, seman uh, morpho morphological, syntactical, semantic, pragmatic, and functional. And then we decide what, what phrases and what is trying to say the user. But it's not only about voice. When I, when I talk about Sherpa, I always say, this is not only about voice. Yeah. This is only one part of the input. Also text, and we, text is the most used uh, like input to Serpa and touch screen. For, yeah. We should probably go back up to 35,000 yeah. feet. It, this is an Android app, right? Yeah, that's right. Is it a free app? It's a free app. All right. It's not launched yet. Okay. In, the, in the US, we are doing some trials uh, in the Spanish speaking market, but it's not, it's not, uh, it's not launched yet in the yeah. US market. And uh, iPhone uh, version will come later after you prove that this is uh, a viable yeah. product, right? That's what we want. We, we want to be in as much as devices as, as we can. So any platform, uh, especially iPhone, will be one of our, uh, our key interests. But we need to, first, we needed to finish the product. Uh, yeah. We need to focus on the product, finish the right product, and then go go for the distribution in all the platforms. Because this is almost a platform, it, it, it's hard to explain what a platform does. So maybe we should just demo it and okay. people will get a sense of uh, what it does and, and why it's better than like Google Now, right? Great. Yeah, so I'll come over here. So what are we gonna see here? So right now, when I open Serpa, I can see that it's, it's loading my, uh, based on my interest, some uh, things that I may like to know, for example, the is is pulling up the the weather, uh, the going to church, the some some stock results, some meetings that I have later, and some uh, some like concerts and restaurants that I may like. So this is this is the predictive part where Sherpa is learning about me and it's showing me the information that I may like. Uh, the rest is about asking, uh, let's go to for, for, for a quick search. For example, if I ask like, how old is Robert Scoble? So if we have the right answer, Sherpa is going to show us the right answer. 
If not, uh, it's going to help us to, to get the right answer. So we use, uh, it's searching uh, on the web uh, and trying to get the right information. Uh, for example. Uh, it uh, is right, so yep. is it, is it is right. So also if I do a normal search like Robert Scoble, I will get, I will get uh, results based on uh, in a in a different way. We don't like ten underlying links. We wanted to change that that into something much more visual, much more interactive, much more informative. So we got a Twitter profile, some vid or some here some videos that I that you might like. So, but if I ask for a different thing, let's say that I want to know like uh, about how many people live in London? So if I want to know a different thing, years old. Sherpa, no. Sherpa is creating a unique website of the information I ask. It's uh, searching, it's detecting the official website of London, uh, videos, weather, how many kilometers are from here to London. So it's creating a new website based on the information I asked. So it's not sending me 10 underlying links, it's creating a visual search uh, search results. And if I ask like San Francisco Giants, so depending what I'm asking, it's going it's to- It's amazing, the voice recognition is amazing with your accent, I mean, <laughs> I, you know. Have you trained this? Have you done? No, 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 no. it's not. So it would, it would work with me if I started talking to it. Yeah, for sure. So I have the, the latest results, the upcoming games, uh, also the, like the Twitter profile, the official website of San Francisco Giants. It's a new way to, to, to search. So that's, we have been working a lot with the UI with, with uh, like seven designers all around the world. So that's, that's, that's the result. And if I ask for a company, let's say Yahoo, uh, I will get different things. Like for example, the stock value, again, Twitter profile, uh, and some other results that I may like, for example, the, the, the news. So that's, that's about when I'm talking about search. But what about things that are not related with search, like interacting with our social networks, Yeah. like Show me my last mentions on Twitter. So if I want to get that, I will get them. Or post on Facebook, hello, I'm with Robert. And it'll do that automatically. Yeah, so you can post it. I can then post it and I will get uh, get posted in, in, in a second in my, in my, in my wall. Yeah. So what else? I can do uh, many other things like um, set it up. Almost all things that we can do with Siri, let's say like, look at, this is the, the screen again, the, the home screen. Yeah. Uh, set up a meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Draw me the title for the appointment. Dentist. So, almost all the okay. things. Okay, here you have the details of the appointment. Would you like me to add it to your calendar? Uh, the microphone's might yes. not be picking this up, but it's asking you what, what the title is. Okay. It, it picked it up? Okay. So, I'm, I'm adding a task. I'm adding, I can, I can do almost, put, set up the alarm. Almost all the things that you can do with Siri, can do it with so it's a, it's will be like a combination with Siri, Google Now, predictive capabilities plus a unique UI that can show the information in a different way in a mobile because it's in a in a in a mobile device in a in a cell phone. It's pretty crazy. So you're using you built a really customized uh, voice recognition system that you're using uh, Google and Nuance, right? And then you built yeah, your own system on top of that to figure out which is the right one to use. Yeah, no, we, what we do is filter uh, the results and try to, try to uh, understand what, what is the, the right result. Yeah. Plus, then we do the rest, which is the, 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 the surprise learning about, yeah. oh, it's always learning. We have our own artificial intelligence systems. Uh, some of them are neural networks, some of them 
are other kind of, of techniques we use to to improve results, to improve the to try to learn from the user and show the information in a much more like accurate way for, uh, for for each user, not for each group of user. It's for each user. And then if you, it, once you understand whether it's a restaurant yeah. or a music or yeah. a sports team or a stock quote or something like that, you build custom UIs that that really pull the best information from around the internet and That's and right. Let's say, you said music. Let's say, what, what was your favorite? Skrillex. Skrillex. That's your favorite music band. So when we have this, we can have the play songs uh, and have the all the information about the Skrillex. So we... Videos the, and stuff like that, yeah. Videos, webs, and also the who are the, the like the people a little a, a script of that and if the the internet yeah was well we will be able to to listen to a song of Skrillex yeah so that's the um, do you, the, could I ask it a question like uh, what's the best uh, French food within five miles yeah for sure let's try it what's the best French restaurant will show us that and it knows where you are so it'll yeah, it won't show me the it. one in london you know <laughs> or paris <laughs> paris probably has the best french restaurants la fusion whatever yeah so those are the let's go garage or here i can also go to the map and see where where is that yeah. that person or even i can call them and say okay I'm not going to call them. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have all the. Very nice. Very nice. If you yep. do, if you could have found me, uh, <laughs> this is a question. Uh, we were on a road trip and uh, driving along Highway Five, and my my kid wants pizza, and it's like figuring out how to uh, look like half an hour ahead of you and say, where's the best pizza? Yeah. You know, 30 minutes down the road. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the best pizza in Stockton? Can you, I guess you could Where's the best pizza in Palo Alto? Right. But then you had to filter it and say, that's within uh, five, five blocks of the freeway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah. you all the ones. Yeah. That yeah 30 that's minutes. right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But it, which, shows, which shows uh, that there's still room to uh, even get better on figuring out what sure. your intent is and where you are going, what you're doing. Maybe look at ways and say, oh, that, that guy's going to be along this corridor. Let's not show him anything else, right? You are right. This is our biggest like, challenge and what we are focus, focusing on right now. It's on predictive capabilities yeah. to see where, where will you be what would you like to know in the in the next in the next hours so we try to to be yeah. to, to show you before you need the information when yeah. i first saw siri i knew it was going to be a competitive advantage to a big company i, I didn't realize apple was going to buy it but I, yeah. I knew intuitively it made sense to put it in the phone now we're uh, uh, soon going to get wearables you know uh, whether it's the google uh, the google uh, um, where, you know, watches or the Apple Glass. watches, right? Glass, I, I'm, I think, is further out. I, I just don't think the average consumer is going to be wearing something on yeah. their face. But on, on a watch, it makes sense because you don't want to type on the watch, right? So having this kind of system where you talk to the watch and ask it something and then it get, displays a very short and nice answer makes a lot of sense on a watch. Are you thinking about that? Yeah, for sure. We ha actually, we have done some trials. Uh, we don't want to focus on those kind of systems. We, we have done trials, but we don't want to focus until one uh, is like widely spread yeah. because we, we want to see what is going to happen with the watches, the smart glasses, whatever, uh, all the wearables. But one of the, our main focus, I, will, I would say that before that, maybe it will be the car, yeah. the car industry. That's because I one, think it's, yeah. it's the... Uh, it's very like they they need to be improved the, all the systems that are in the car and Sherpa can can help uh, help a lot. So we we have done also some trials and we have some 
some some agreements with some some mm, like companies that that and we are working on on you you some could ideas. help the Google uh, uh, car uh, system. Google and Apple are both building systems for cars and want to be be there in a big way. Um, why why can a little startup do so much better than Google now? What what is going on in your company that lets you do this kind of system that in a better way than even Apple is doing it? I would say there are two reasons. So I think that Siri is a great product. It's only voice, yeah. and I think that's that's a mistake. But maybe it's what they they want they want to do. But they are more focused on. Uh, let's say it's selling more devices so it's more series more focused on trying to help you using the iPhone capabilities better like setting up the alarm setting up the meetings and things like that rather than than doing a good uh, information in engine uh, and Google maybe is more focused on giving you tons of results because the, the business goes goes with 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 that so maybe they are more focused on that uh, yeah. than, than in, in other things. And we are just focused on the user. Yeah. So we do many, many user testing. We do uh, testings, we, we do that. We analyze the user. We try to give the best product to the user. Yeah. So that's, that's why maybe a company like ours sometimes is doing better Does job it than others. Does it get better as you use the product? Is it for learning? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it yeah. knows you a little bit. You know, when you say San Francisco Giants, uh, it it's, uh, knows that you're uh, into baseball, and you and it probably uh, found the result a little bit better than if it. Did. That's right. That's right. And if I ask for San Francisco Giants, it will think not only if I ask. Well, it's if I ask on depending where where am I. Uh, it's also taking information if the user wants to give that information. So it's going to pull up the uh, when a, the San Francisco Giants is doing a run. Yeah. It's going to pull up the information at exact time, not not as other other yeah. systems. One problem with yeah. Siri is there's a lot of edges. Uh, if you ask it, for instance, uh, how many people are checked in at the Half Moon Bay Ritz Carlton, it 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 understood what you asked it. Yeah, there is an answer. Foursquare has an answer. There is an API for Foursquare, but it doesn't. Siri is not hooked up to the to the API, and so it goes to Bing search and gives you a stupid answer. And it, it and anytime you hit one of those edges where it doesn't work, the system just falls apart. Sort of, it pisses you off and makes you less likely to use it in the future because you don't trust it. What what happens in Sherpa when you hit something that it doesn't know the answer to or it isn't hooked up? I complete I, I completely agree with you. What I see at Siri is that we have like let's say a hundred things that it does really really well, but if the user asks the hundred and one thing, the the, the the thing that you do, that Siri that do has a very like good feel, uh, bad feeling of of the product. So what we wanted is not to be like very good at this and then like have a like a, a fall off and, and, and don't do the rest of the things. We wanted to like minimize the curve of that and do some things really well and the things that we are not um, doing well, let's say that we don't have an answer, at least give a, a, a kind of, uh, as, I, as I show you, uh, a kind of website of the information you asked. Can we, can we try that search? Uh, do How many people are checked in at the Half Moon Bay Ritz-Carlton uh, right now? How many people have checked in at the Half Moon Bay Ritz-Carlton? So probably I will get, oh, my English is not that. <laughs> but let's see, whatever. We, I didn't understood because I, my English not was related with other things, but at least we give, uh, we have a kind of, we give search results yeah. and we give some photos and videos related with, it understood me, the cartoon, chicken, whatever, yeah. and some news related with that. So it's a kind of mystery between a search engine plus that, plus the, so we don't, if we don't have the right answer, let's say that uh, I type something that um, has no sense, let's say, uh, 
this, for example. Yeah. It's going to try to, to find something in the web and at least give you give you some answers. Yeah. So that's the that's the key key thing that we have. Can we try that? Uh, let me try that search. Oh, yeah. How many people are checked in on Foursquare at the Half Moon Bay Ritz Carlton? Yeah, it's still. Uh, no, it does. Uh, so we have a, at least gives you them. And you can start typing if, to fix yeah, things. Yeah, for sure. And search it again. Does it learn when you try to correct something like that? That that's an important yeah. word to. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Web so you, you sort of have the same problem that Siri does, that it, it, it's still not hooked up to the API of Foursquare where that has that answer, right? I will show you. Uh, actually, we don't have the same because let's say that you say to Siri, uh, let's say that you say, I want to eat pizza. Yeah. And there is a website called I want to eat pizza you will never get that, that website at Siri. Yeah. So we give a, lot, a kind of, we can give you, I want, we can give you the pizza restaurants, the website that is called that, and some other things that, so we build a unique, a unique website. And if we integrate Foursquare, actually in our past product is integrated, yeah. it, will, it, it will give you, but is there. It's interesting. It shows that there's still uh, more work to be done to, sure. to hook for up sure. to all these it APIs. Never you know, uh, for instance, my Nest thermostat, right? Does it, uh, does it look at uh, anything in the Internet of Things in the home? Because my Nest thermostat knows the temperature in my house right now, right? So I could ask it, how, how hot is it at home right now? But it's probably not hooked up to Nest, right? That, not now, but, yeah. but this is one of the, the yeah. things that we are... It shows that uh, whoever owns this space uh, has an infinite amount of work <laughs> to yeah. make it work anyway. better and better and better over time. <laughs> you know, your uh, car, you brought up cars. The cars have uh, 100 sensors now. So if your car has a red check engine light, you know, there's an API for that as well now. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, you can put an automatic underneath the dash. There's a startup called Automatic. And I would love it hooked up to this so I could say, what, what does this check engine light mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we don't need, even need to, like, embed the, the wheel or whatever. Yeah. Uh, in the car, there are many, many things that we can be, in, they can be improved. Uh, with just a uh, right product, like things like going to our next meeting, like, like, um, take me to my next meeting. Things like that are like a thing. I will take you to the place written in your agenda. Make sure it is correct. So it's, it's opening me. It's opening me the the it's taking the the my next meeting the the directions or yep. the, my next meeting from the calendar. It's opening my navigation tool and it's and it's uh, it's doing all in one in one step. So things like that are the things that makes different in a car. Like take me to my next meeting or take me home. Things like that that can can be done with with other systems. Uh, are the are, are key for 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 the car so uh, tell me about the company how did you fund this and uh, uh, how many people are working there so we are 11 people uh, our developer team is in, in Bilbao and I funded like uh, I did that's my second I would say my second startup yeah so I had some some money from 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 the, the other and I funded this company then I did a convertible uh, node round yeah. of two, let's say, two point two million dollar. Very uh, impressive to build this with two million dollars. Yeah, impressive. <laughs> and then and and actually we are right now we are we are raising a, a much bigger round, and that's uh, that's what how we are right now. But Very hopefully cool. we are we are not in a hurry, and we are we have many. Well, it's it's going to it's going to be interesting to see how this space plays out. There's uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's several of these kind of assistants that are trying to own this space or bring something out, but this is one of the best I've seen. So, congratulations <laughs> on that. Uh, where you. do we get it? 
sure, just search Sherpa in the Play Store? Or? Not yet. Okay. We we will let you know when when it will be available. So this is a little this, preview. Yeah, this is not this is a, let's say an uh, an alpha or beta version of the of the product. All right. So. So is, there a web, is there a website then people can sign up to yeah, get more news? It's called uh, like www.sher.pa, yep. so share.pa, and that website they can anybody can sign up or or, or send an email to, to be notified when when it, it will be ready. So we are happy to to thank you. Thanks for coming in. This is awesome. So. Thank you.